His eye, wide eyes shimmer. I'm not sure if it's the rain or if he's on the verge of tears. Are you okay? I I'm just trying to work up the courage to say this. Say what? Black, 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 black. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine e. in Agra. E, looking super cute. E. Man, I'm glad that we can just buy stats. I wish I could do that in real life. <laughs> oh man, I'm not so charismatic. Well, I just need to buy this book and suddenly I'll just absorb it and become charisma. Good work today. The new commercial is gonna look great. Thank you. I feel like I did a better job on this one. Yes, our stats are maxed. Well, last year your session was kind of crashed, wasn't it? That's right. You were there too. <laughs> that was the first time we met. Uh, in this very hallway, in fact. Sorry about elbowing you in the stomach. Sorry about grabbing you like that. I'm glad we're past that stage now. Me too. The rain outside the studio beats gently on the pavement, playing out its own quiet melody. The air is cool, but not cold enough for me to feel the sting of winter. Oh. Matthew stares at the rain and bites his lip. He doesn't say anything, but I can tell he's trying to hold back some bad memories. I take his hand in mine and offer him a smile. His fingers tighten around mine and his expression relaxes. It doesn't look like the rain will let up anytime soon. Sorry I forgot an umbrella. It could be worse. Matthew takes a step out into the rain and holds a hand out. It's really not so bad. I follow him and find the rain to be more pleasant than anything else. It's actually kind of nice, isn't it? Matthew laughs and kicks at a nearby puddle. The water arcs through the air with a sparkle. Having fun? He smiles and nods. It's good to see you happy in the rain. Well, of course. You're here. As long as you're here, I don't feel alone. I reach up and brush some wet hair from his eyes. You might not be alone, but you should still be careful. What if you get sick? He laughs and shakes his head. Droplets of water fly from his hair. I'm counting on you to take care of me. Oh, what a bold statement. Me? Bold? Matthew wipes a bit of water from his eyes. Am I really? More so than when we first met. He sighs and kicks at another puddle. People are still difficult to talk to, and I never know what I'm supposed to say, but at least it's not as scary as it used to be. You've done well. In some ways, I think I'm a little envious. Matthew frowns and leans down when we're eye to eye, until we're eye to eye. I have nothing you should envy. The fact that you're still here, even when you're scared, just makes you the bravest. I've admired you from the start. He cups my face gently in his hands. And now, I think it's more than admiration. I... His eye, wide eyes shimmer. I'm not sure if it's the rain or if he's on the verge of tears. Are you okay? I'm just trying to work up the courage to say this. Say what? Matthew closes his eyes, touches his forehead to mine. I'm in love with you. Ah. And I hope someday you can feel the same way about me. Binch, we already do. I already do. Oh, well there you go. I close my eyes and kiss him gently. Matthew's lips are softer than I'd expected. I can taste the cold of the rain on his lips, intermingled with his sweetness. The 
sound of the rain fades away as our lips interlock, giving way to the pounding of the blood rushing on through my veins. Our lips part slowly, as if neither of us wants to stop. I've never kissed anyone before. What? Seriously? Was it okay? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I need to try it one more time before I can be certain. <laughs> of course. Matthew brushed a mat, brushes aside my hair, and leans in for another kiss. I like cheeky Sean. As many times as you need. Yay! Yay! Oh, that was it. Oh, wait, that's right. We have an epilogue scene. Mm hmm. I was like, I'm sorry, what? I'm like, we didn't even. Did we do the presentation? Did we present the thing? Did we present the thing? The, 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 the thing we worked on with Matthew. Presentation? I think that was before the rain scene. Oh. Okay. Hey, Benny. Benito. I ain't even gotta fucking say it. <laughs> I ain't even gotta fucking say it. Matthew! I adjust the sheet draped over Matt's body, carefully positioning it to show off his figure in the most flattering way. Not like he really needs the help. I can hear people lining up outside. Are you ready? Matthew reaches up and brushes aside a strand of my hair. I am, thanks to you. Ah, yeah, don't move so much. I'll get in trouble if you don't match the painting exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I hurriedly fix the sheet again before checking to make sure his makeup is perfect. You won't get in trouble. It's been my dream to contribute to an art exhibit. I'll make sure it looks good. I grin and take a step back to admire my work. Now there's a refreshing bit of confidence. <laughs> He flushes at my compliment. I think I'm getting better. He glances down at the pool of water he's leaning over. Although I didn't imagine I'd literally be a part of the exhibit. <laughs> I look around the room at the other models waiting patiently for the exhibit to op open. The living art exhibit had originally been Matt's idea, but it gained a lot of momentum after we pitched it to the museum. What had started in a single room now filled an entire floor. Damn. Ooh. I scan my section, Greek mythology, to make sure all the models are ready for viewing. Jason, check. Medea, check. Hercules, check. Aphrodite, check. <laughs> Finally, I kneel beside my narcissist. Careful not to step into the reflective pool of water around him. Cause he's the prettiest. Gallery open soon. Ready to gaze at your perfect beauty for hours. Matthew sighs and dips his head downward. His hair hangs loosely around his face and his reflection shows a forlorn look of longing. I'd rather gaze at you. Oh, smooth. Hmm. <laughs> well, when the gallery closes, you can gaze at me all you like. But for now... Makes eye contact with me via his reflection and smiles. I'll do my best. The door to the gallery opens and I can already hear the guide explaining the first room to an excited group of patrons. I quickly step into a corner and watch as the people stop to admire the artwork. The guide stops in front of Matt and explains the story of Narcissus, 
A man so in love with his own beauty that he ignored all else. One of the patrons chimes in, adding that a nymph named Echo was also in love with Narcissus. She had faded into little more than a voice, and he ignored her. As the group comments on the tragedy of it all, I feel an involuntary smile grow on my face. A couple years ago, that would have been my story. The girl reduced to a whisper, never loved by the beautiful man that everyone pines over. But our story is different. As I watch people move through the gallery and enjoy the art, I feel a sense of pride swelling. Matt and I created something amazing together. But more than that, we proved that some stories do have a happy ending. Yay! That's the end of Matthew's route! Ayy! Ah. Oh. I'm be honest, I feel like I didn't get my custard's worth. Hmm. It's still sweet, though. It's sweet. I just, me, me, personally, I would have liked a little more oomph. But it is sweet, and he's sweet, and they're cute together. Yeah. And you know who we've got coming up next? Why? Why? <laughs> next up is John. No! <laughs> John! I've never, <laughs> I've never played his route before. Back when the game first came out a few years ago. Oh, so um, you're flying blind. Yeah, so like Benito's route, I will be flying blind. Pray for us. <laughs> Any last words? Pray for us. <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew, just yeah, go 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 find your custard and give it to me. In Matthew <laughs> In Matthew's <laughs> friend route. The ending mm. is that you both take over Midnight Cosmetics as, like, the producers and creative directors. And that's interesting, but I like this more where he's kind of making his I own like art. That, I feel like nothing happened! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Nothing. Yeah, I feel like there wasn't really much conflict be yes. besides just the shyness. Okay, I was, I was gonna say that, but I was afraid that maybe I was just being, like, too... I don't know. Um... Like with Benito, there was like the issue with his parents. Yeah, there was always that. Like, I thought something was gonna happen with his mom, but no, she's just prevent. Like, I, I'm she's just, just. I respect that she's professional, but I expected a lot more conflict from everything. Yeah, I, I guess that's why I'm just sitting here and I'm like, did anything even happen? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I got the custard bun and I opened it up and there was like a dab of custard. That enticed <laughs> me, but there was nothing left waiting for me. That's, I mean, that's me personally. My personal feelings on it. But again, they were cute. So next up is John, and then we'll be doing Nicole, possibly Alvin and Lloyd, if you guys want to see those. And then we're ending with Adam. 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 Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.